I am at an estate sale today. Um, actually, there are two in town. So we're gonna go into this first one and let's get shopping. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. So we have lots of jewelry here. I might come back up later and look at that. This is an interesting little doll over here. Oh, it's a little muff. <laughs> I think I had one similar. I had a muff. Not with the doll head though. That's darling. Yes, with the fur. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Red. And I think actually my mom ripped apart a coat of her hers and made the Oh you're kidding. No. So there's a bunch of things upstairs. It's kind of a neat. And then there's lots more downstairs. And there's several groups that's a pretty candy dish that would glow. That's uranium glass. Oh, yes, it is. Some nice things here. What do you think this is? No, oh, a little flag stand. Wow. Sure. This is cute. This is neat. I might think about that. No, it's okay. Okay. Can get your twenty five percent off? Yes. Oh, it is twenty five percent off today. I like that Beethoven statue. This is a very pretty plate. I like it a lot. Do you know Charles? I do. Okay. Well, there's an or antique organ pipe. Look at these old cabinets. I am tempted because I really do think these are store cabinets. It's a nice mid-century modern magazine rack. Oh. I like this yellow enameled teapot too. Yeah, I mean Elaine Shaker. Elaine Fiscum. Nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. You got it. So they have a lot of linens here. And this is a postage stamp quilt. Oh, that's what you got. Yeah, a little camera. <laughs> Pillow is cute. Okay, now we're going. We're in the basement. Older things here for sure. Halloween trays. Backgammon. Over here. How are you? Christmas items. <laughs> kind of looking at this Christmas tree picture. Not as fancy as some, though. <laughs> so I did pick up this uh, blue cobalt vase. I like it. And then this is really interesting. I think you could use it for a recipe holder, but it has a music theme and it is brass. So I'm gonna pick that up too. There are lots of vintage like baby clothes. So cute. And lots of fabric. I wish Leota was here. She would have a heyday with the fabric. Look at these whole tiny baby shoes. <laughs> Look how cute that is. I just don't need any more. Oh, here's some sheets. 
Let's see what these are back here. Eight dollars. It was just one sheet though. I think I'll pass on that. But yeah, lots of fabric, lots of baby things. Lots of patterns. And we have a collection of really old dolls. Look at this, it's say Kellogg's. That's old. Oh, tiny ones. This is kind of a cute little guy. Look at this little guy. Well, my camera did stop working. The last sale we were at were was um, the Golden Leaf sale. Now we're entering into um, the sister's estate sale. We'll see what we can find. Okay, so we're inside now. I did get permission to uh, film. There's some interesting things here. Look at this little collection of donkeys. Cool. Going like this. I'm gonna check to see what, if it has a label on it. I thought this gorilla was kind of cool, but I don't know, maybe not. Pretty blue cobalt base there. Let's see what that is. Cambridge. Let's look that up. Here's a royal Copenhagen cup and saucer. They can go for a lot of money. I'm going to pick it up. Eighteen with twenty-five percent off. Uh, my camera died, so I'm reviewing my phone. I found a few things over here. This is really unique. It's like a balancer, but like a Native American craft. Oops, I'm thinking about that. I also found a little totem pole. Oops. Not this one. I don't like this one as well, but this is a really nice color base. Or no, Roseville. Check that out. And then there's another one of those. Kind of looking around quick here. Um, it's gotta be like for a doll. Yeah, doll clothes. It's cute though. Some fancy shoes. Oh, that's a garbage basket. A trash basket. Ribbons. Christmas ornaments. Mm -hmm. Oh, paper brush. So my daughter is looking for a record stand and that's like perfect. Let me give her a call. It's a nice little nativity scene. Looks heavy though. Some cute little baby planters. I don't have much luck selling those. What is this? Ooh. What does it say? Chimney Rock. It's kind of cool, but probably not. So yeah, I'm on the second day of both of these sales. I don't need anything for inventory that bad that I wanted to fight the lines. So we have more Christmas around here. I'm not seeing anything like real vintage. But I think I have found some good things already. I 
know they have some vintage uh, linens over here. This actually is my favorite one, but there, it's just one sheet, not a set. And I try to only buy sets. Here we go back down the other side. Tabletop puzzle, that's an old one. Um, I'm gonna get a hold of my daughter and see if she wants that for her record player. So this day, I went to three estate sales. It took me pretty much all day to do that, but it was so fun and I picked up a lot of things. So let's get started. The first uh, estate sale was Golden Leaf and been to theirs many times. I think I may have messed up the name of the second estate company, which is actually Estate Sale Girls. Great company, easy to work with. They're so nice. So here, let's go to Golden Leaf first and I'll tell you what I got. This pottery pig. He is from um, Italy. There's no damage on him at all. Maybe a few little manufacturing firing marks. He isn't anything but just decoration. I can't find him though on the internet. So I paid for this pig. I think I paid, well, it was 25% off of $32. So whatever that is, it's, it was what? Like 20, 24, I think, $24 for this pig. No idea what I'm gonna price him at yet, but if you're a pig collector, here's a good pig, pig for you. Um, the next item, this is Fenton Stretch Glass, and it is very, very old. Um, she did give this to me for half off that day because I had found a manufacturer flaw in it. It's, it's, not, it's not a crack, even though it looks like a crack, but there's a line there. So she did give this to me for $34. But this is old, like from 1917, I think they produced this, Fenton did, uh, until 19... Just, just before 1930. And this would glow very brightly under a black light. I also picked up, um, oh, this. And this is Royal Copenhagen teacup and saucer. Older also, um, not quite sure. I gotta do a little bit more research. But Royal Copenhagen is a very, very fine china. I paid, um, I should have looked at this. I paid $13.50 for this. It should go right around that $60 mark. And then I believe the last thing I picked up at that sale, but this could have been the second sale too, I, I don't quite remember. Is this cobalt blue it's cambridge glass bud base also quite old i would say probably 1930s 1940s does have the sticker on it and this i you know for i paid nine dollars for this and i think i probably get right around that 50 dollars mark so then on to the next sale didn't even know who this guy was but I knew he was supposed to be Tarzan. So after I came home and looked him up, he is actually um, Unita Tiny Teen Dan doll. And he was made from 1957 until 1963. Bought this little guy for $3. Um, yeah, I think I can get about 45 for him. I'm gonna have to go grab a drink of water. So then I picked up this little totem pole. He is hand carved and painted. On the back, totem poles actually sell pretty well. Not like the manufactured ones, but if you can find hard uh, hand carved ones. But on the back, it says, with love from, I can't read it, but it's 1931 from Washington State. So yeah, this is gonna be a good seller. I paid $7.50 for it, and I'm right around that $50 mark, I believe. This, not quite sure. It's a little music stand, brass music stand. Um, I think it's a recipe card holder for a music lover. But you could, you know, put a business card on there. You could put a picture on there. 
um, just a cute little decoration. And this was $375. I think once again, around that $45 range. And this one was quite a surprise for me. It is a trinket box after looking it up. Oh, inside, first of all, I should tell you that inside there is a stamp on the top of the lid that says 1933 World's Fair, A Century of Progress. So it is quartz. I looked it up and it's a special kind of quartz called Floron Quartz, I believe it is. Um, there's one listed right now on eBay for $150. I think that's overpriced. I think I'll probably list mine around the $65 or $75 range. Um, knowing it's from the World's Fair, that is that, you know, a lot of people collect things from the World's Fair. And I paid $3 for this, I believe. Let me look. Yeah, right around like $3.50 for it. So good pickup on that. And then I'm going to have to pick you up and take you into a different room to show you the haul from the last estate sale. Um, this one was just like in a home and the family was doing it. So I should have went to this one Thursday because there were a lot of not very many things left, but you could tell that the things were very high quality and I wish I would have gotten there earlier. But to tell you the truth, I just have a lot of stuff, but like who can't? you know, who, who passes down a good deal. So just a moment. This is the first item I picked up at that um, family estate sale. It is a signed and numbered photograph of the USS Nautilus. And I paid $10 for this. I have seen them go on the internet for about 125. And then this is what I got next. He must have been quite the collector and I bought all of these leather bound books all made by Easton Press most of them in the 70s and 80s but all of these I offered him it was like right at the end of the sale so I offered him a number and he ended up uh, he ended up accepting it. And what it figures out to be is about seven dollars and eighty cents a book. I think I did well. The Gone with the Wind books I have right now listed for a hundred dollars. The Winnie the Pooh leather. Oh yeah, they're all leather bound. All. Let me show you all gilded pages. Many of them are classics, so I think that's going to help sell them. The Winnie the Pooh ones, I think I have, I'm not sure, 175 But a great, great deal, I believe. And a perfect addition to a home library. One book, and I don't remember which one it is, um, last sold for, for over $300 on the internet. So that wraps it up. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe and like. Thanks. We'll see you next time.